Hey, my name is Josh. Today I'm going to show you how to test the motor of your cooling fan or your condenser fan in your car and uh, find out if the motor itself is good or if you need to replace it uh, using tools that you probably already have around your garage. And uh, if you're interested in how to remove the fan from the car, uh, you can check out my other video which uh, will be linked below. If you're getting um, warm air conditioning, it doesn't seem to be working, you can lean in under your hood, check, make sure that condenser fan is spinning when the air conditioning is on. If your car is overheating when you're sitting at idle, um, check your radiator fan. Make sure that's spinning when the car is up to temperature. Um, it should be going off and on. Um, there's a lot of elements to your cooling system and your AC system that turn on fans, but where I usually like to start is figuring out if the fan motor itself is good. Uh, and the way that we do that is by bypassing all the circuitry and going directly to the battery, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If you got a set of jumper cables around, um, those work. But what I'm going to do is attach them to my car battery as if I'm going to jump her, jump her, her. If I'm going to jump the car, obviously just just as you are with jumping cars, don't touch your leads together or you're going to get lots of sparks. Then what I do is I take the other two ends and I essentially I grab a screwdriver so that I get pokey ends on them. Again, don't touch these together. And don't let your positive one, don't lose track, don't let your positive one touch any body of parts of the car or anything that's going to ground it or you're going to get a bunch of sparks. Okay, so I'm going to test uh, this condenser fan motor. Uh, as you can see, it has a blue and a black uh, wire, which I'm not totally sure which one's positive and negative. I'm not an electrician. But I'm just going to hook these up, and if I have them backwards, it just means the fan will run backwards, and I'll switch them. So, without touching my screwdrivers or my clamps together. I'm going to insert them and touch the two pins. I can hear a noise inside the motor, but the motor is not spinning. So I know that this fan is busted. Okay. Here's my new one. My replacement. I'm going to do the same thing just to show you what it looks like. Okay. Take my screwdrivers in here. Make sure I don't have anything in the fan blades. Touch the pins. Begin spinning. And uh, looks like I had it backwards so I could switch them here and it would spin the right direction. Don't worry, you're not gonna get electrocuted. Okay, this is low voltage. Um, obviously, if you touch them together, there's gonna be lots of sparks. Um, so just keep them separate, but you shouldn't have any problem touching those two pins inside the plug. So now you know whether your fan motor is uh, good or whether it's shot. And that will uh, either lead you to replace the fan um, itself or move on to diagnostics of other parts of the vehicle if your fan is good. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe. Uh, we'll have more videos uh, for you in the future. <laughs>